Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth and today I am here with the little um, budget binder I picked up from Tamu. Now this particular one I got free to do uh, a collab with and I did the two collabs that they requested. So this one is just, yeah I got it for free but this is not a required video. This is just me sharing you my budget. Um, I mentioned in my planner video that I was going to be doing a budget and I even mentioned on my live that I started we're, we're started a budget thingy and I just kind of want to share with you the start of it and then um, I'm going to have a couple of videos where I design the the cutouts for my uh, these little sleeveys and stuff, but I kind of want to walk you through my 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 goals, my I my thinking, and um, I welcome I really really welcome any suggestions. Like talking about this live, um, I had wonderful feedback. There was suggestions um, to open a savings and a credit union where it's totally separate from my bank because I love Chase. <laughs> That's not a paid promotion. I love Chase. It's super easy. Access is really easy, but for savings, it's a little too easy. So we're going to start here in our little budget binder. Now let's walk through this little budget binder. Um, you can Google search budget binders and you can get them on Etsy where they've got already fun things in them. Amazon, Tamu, obviously. Um, this particular one comes in various colors. It has pockets everywhere. It's got your pocket there. It's got your little drop pockets there, a little ID. So if you actually carry this around like a wallet, you could do that. <laughs> I will not because I will lose all the monies. On the back, it's got pockets. It's got the little pen, pencil, holder which seems to be pretty good i've popped this in and out quite a bit okay and then it this particular one came with these little inserts and then of course a bundle of these yes these cute little zipper pouches um i turned all of mine this way so that in order to be open it's gonna go like this my thing is I don't like it either way. Maybe I need to do this because <laughs> trying to figure out how to open them when they're turned this way and that way was a little bit confusing to me. Okay, it was a lot confusing. But, oh, you know what? That works a lot better just kind of staggering the zippers because, you know, the money's not going to fall out. It's not going to fall out. So I sat down with the hubby and this is how we do our bills right i get a sheet of paper i write down each payday and then what needs paid for that payday and then i also do the following month um and you can see i didn't have this entire month because i was a slacker and didn't do it but hopefully moving forward we'll have two months and then um yeah so these two months and then when we get halfway through May I'll do June and July on the next sheet so I've got this for all of our bills and uh, our goal is to have enough in our account that I can auto draft all of the bills like our electric our credit cards all of that right now some of them are a little late getting paid because everybody wants their money at the first of the month and we we get paid weekly so it's not like we can just do that so we're trying to build up a savings so that we have an entire month already paid and another one ready to go right so that we can have our bank um full of cash so that these guys can auto draw easy peasy and then we're going to pull out our spending money for our groceries and foods and things like that. And the spending money goes into here. 
and then as we gain a savings here and a little bit in the bank we're going to um, take the savings from here and put it into that credit union that's going to be harder to get to i'm not going to be constantly looking at it we're just going to take it from here deposit um so say like our bills was almost a thousand dollars so if his check anything over a thousand we're pulling out so next payday we only have four hundred and sixty three dollars to pay for the bills and we're saying anything over 550 so if his check is eight hundred dollars we're only going to pull out 250 okay that way there we have that little bit of extra between those and that's going to start building our savings and i'm going to try not to look at it and then we're going to pay everybody like i said and get them paid ahead and or either paid ahead or have the money in the account for it to be paid ahead so it can get into automatic and so we'll have a little bit of savings going on in our bank account especially good if you know you forget something or you're like me and you do one of those uh after pay thingies and you forget that you have a payment coming up there will definitely be money for that now this little guy, I want to keep with this, and I got my little, look at these little cuties. I got these at the Dollar Tree, you guys. Little st sticky notes. But I want to make something to hold it here so that it is visible and I can pop it out easy peasy. So I got to think on that, how to get that to stay there. You can see I drew some holes because I thought about clipping it in. And then I'm like, no, because then I have to constantly pop it open. So I don't know. Then we go to our budget sheets. I don't really do this, but these are going to come in handy later on. And you'll see. So I, I'm thankful that these are in here. The hubby and I, we sat down and figured out all the bills, you know, that are going to be auto draft. And then everything else that we could think of at the time that we spend money on that is a necessity, um, frivolous, all that kind of stuff. We kind of put labels on these. So this particular one is for our fuel. So for hubby to get back and forth to work, he needs some gas money. So that's in there. So we keep gas money. This one, this one is my, I don't know what to do with it yet. Um, this is our first time savings and all that. I wasn't sure if I just wanted to throw it into savings pouch. Um, we did take a little bit out for milk and stuff, which, you know, then it goes into our food and our food is empty because I went grocery shopping last week and I didn't need to go grocery shopping and I wasn't sure, you know, I'm not quite sure how to work that part out yet but we'll figure it out and then um, I'm getting my nails done once a month so we got that the kids and I we get our hair done not regularly but you know um, like next month or the month after I have my hair done and then the week later Anthony has his hair done and then we'll will save up for that so it's not coming out at a one check we have a little area for eating eating in and out and i these have three little things because they were individual envelopes like anthony had his envelope mom had her envelope raylynn had hers and then each of these and then we decided we needed more envelopes so we con condensed them so this is our eating out so no eating out this week <laughs> there's there's no money there this one is the hubby's folder um he makes all the money and he likes his cash and so we're gonna make it so that he has you know he can stop for his drink before or after work and drinks, I mean, like energy drinks, tea, stuff like that, you know. Not the other kind that he gets in trouble for. 
<laughs> sometimes. I have an arts and crafts. Now this, um, so you guys know I do arts and crafts. This is not for me arts and crafts. This is for my kids arts and crafts because Raylan does crochet. Anthony, he does some drawing sometimes. Well, they both kind of draw, but, uh, Anthony, he does drawings. He's been dabbling in jewelry making, which I have no problem with because if he doesn't use it, I will. We have a a nice little caddy for jewelry making. So this is arts and crafts for general, not for my channel. And that'll make sense later. And then here's my little budget sheet. Remember I said I, I'm not big on using them. I don't use them for my bank account. But for the purpose of our budgeting, I'm going to use it for our savings. And you can see we already have some savings. I just need to write that in there. So this is just basic savings. Okay. So, and um, we're, we're calling, we're giving this particular savings our moving, um, moving, I can't even read what I put. Oh, a percent of check. Um, that's actually in another folder. But this is going to be our moving money because we're trying to not use his 401k money. So we're going to stick it out in this house for another year or two and try and get the truck, the car, and some of the credit cards paid off, which we're going to ch chop up all but one, all but one, because... Every time I, we have them, there's always an emergency. Do you guys have that? There's always an emergency when you have a flipping credit card that you get just for emergencies. <laughs> I don't know. It's So we're going to chop them up and get rid of them. This, this is exciting. If you guys watch budgeting on Instagram and, and TikTok... There's people that show how they do their budget system. And yes, I got a lot of my ideas from them. This here is one of the games that you play. Yeah, a game for saving money. So, um, this is called a 52-week savings. And at the end of the 52 weeks, the last week you put in $53 and you'll have 1433 so the first week, nice easy peasy, two dollar, two dollar. So look, I got my first two dollars in my challenge. I'm so excited. And it's really great because you can start it now, you can start it next week, you can start it next month. Either way, at the you just go by the weeks, not the months or anything like that. So I have that in there. I have a back side, so um, say like we finish this, I can take it out, flip it over, and then we can start a new game. Because I don't need that information, just little bits that we can cross off. Which, by the way, let us, let us, let us cross this one off. Because we have our $2 in there. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and it did not leak through. Yay. So I need to find, I was debating if I needed a second because I write in pencil, but to mark things off, I, I need something fancy, right? Right. So there's our $2 savings, our regular savings. I know you guys are like, what do you need this for? This is going to be um, just a specialty because we're saving for everything else. I mean, I've got savings going on in the bank account. I got savings going on here. And then we're trying to do savings for something fun. And when I showed this to the hubby, he's like, oh, like we could save to go on a cruise or something. You know, we've never done anything big like that. And I'm like, yeah, totally. So this may be some cruise money. It may take us a little bit longer, but um, I don't know how much a cruise is. I would like to cake the kids, but also the hubby and I have never had a honeymoon. So it might just be us on the first time. I don't know. I'm kind of excited. 
And then another friend of mine, Ms. Deborah, she said that her parents um, saved a percentage of their paycheck. And so I just kind of wanted to see what that would look like. And I'm starting small, you guys, because savings is hard for us. And I figured, you know, little amounts, I, I can handle little amounts because like his first paycheck that we started this on was a thousand and ninety nine so um, in order to get the interest we need one percent of one ninety nine and the of is always a times in math sentences <laughs> I had a great math teacher that helped us with that one percent of ten ninety nine is just eleven dollars so the savings in here is eleven dollars look at that and um, this this savings will probably go into our moving savings. Well, not probably. Yeah, it's going to go into our moving savings. But I thought it would be fun to kind of see how that goes. So yeah, so there's there's our budget sheet. And our moving savings is also going to collect any extras. So like we pay the bills, we do the things. And then the next payday comes, but we have money left in here. We're going to take it out and put it into the savings. So hopefully we see that we're growing our savings and we're going to have fun putting it away and doing these challenges and stuff. So yeah, so I've got $11 in that savings. And then this, this is my share of sale folder. Okay. Because share a sale deposits right into my bank, okay? And again, I'm trying to budget and not spend um, recklessly like I've been doing. Um, my last share of sale was 100. Um, I spent that 100 at scrapbook.com. So the next payment, when whenever I accumulate 100 or more, um, we're going to pull it out of the bank, put it in here, and that way there I can keep track of my share of sales. And then um, I'm going to do better about doing the shopping online because a lot of my shopping for my channel is online. I'm going to know my budget, adjust. So say like I go shopping at Ranger next time and my cart comes to 110, but I only have 100 in here, then I can talk to the hubby, you know, transfer that 10 into this and then put this in the bank and then place that order for this. So I don't go over this too bad and I can stay under and which will be great too because say like my order comes to ninety dollars and fifty cents well i'll put a hundred in and that ten that extra ten will just sit in the savings in the bank account so hopefully having all of these systems for savings that we can visualize and see will help and even i it's only been going on like what is today what is today today is sunday so we have payday was on wednesday Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like five days-ish. Okay. This would have been gone normally. We, we'd have gone out. We'd have blowed it. We, we would have done. It would have just been gone. Like, gone, 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 gone. Um, but the hubby, he's like, um, I need, we need milk and we need this and we need this. So we only took out enough that would cover that and we didn't we didn't overspend at our groceries and stuff so I'm, I'm hoping we do good and again this this little pouch is our undecided which hopefully by Wednesday you know most of it is still there and then I can drop it into the savings one so or maybe if his check is low, we'll put it back into the food one so we can go grocery shopping. But yeah, um, if you have any ideas for me, you know, feel free to share. Um, if you want more detail about something, let me know. Um, maybe you're interested in the savings challenge, okay? 
or you want to talk about the savings on your paycheck, you know, let me know. I'm happy to share my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But uh, and stick around because we're gonna. It won't. It won't take long. I'm gonna uh, walk you through how I do the die cutting, and we're gonna die cut this on the crafty end of our channel, and then we'll come back and decorate the little pouches up so it says fuel. We won't need that little piece of flag there. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so. And then I got to think of this, how to get this to stay here. I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. And then for this here, I'm thinking of putting um, like more challenges in here. So when I finish this challenge back here, I'll have maybe different types of challenges here. And then some inspirational things that I can just pull out every now and then and look at. And then put something fun in here. Maybe like sassy. Put sassy in there. And I'll have this if I need to make notes or anything. These will be handy. <laughs> They're so stinking cute. And then all of our bill pay. But uh, yeah, I was even thinking of making um, a smaller version because, I mean, if you think about it, you could print, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just make some pages and then get a hole punch so I can make my own inserts. Because eventually I'll run out of these and I'll need to print some of these. So maybe I'll do that for my monthly monthly pay schedule. Until we can get everybody on auto pay. And then it's just how much I need to save per paycheck. So I thank you guys for hanging out with me during this little chat about the budget. Again, honestly, you know, we struggle. I'm I'm in my 40s. He's he's creeping up. I'm 45 this year. He'll be 50 this year. And we've never had a savings. And we've never owned a home and we've blown through his 401k once to move here to Ohio. And I was all excited about moving, but the thought of taking his 401k to do it for the down payment, it kind of freaked me out. Um, so, yeah, we're just taking a step back and plus interest rates are high. So I think it's in our best interest just to save and try and gather that down payment as quickly as we can. So if you have any other ideas on that <laughs> i'll take those advices too and if you want a more private chat with me you can email me at chat with sassy at gmail.com until next time my friends i will see you later happy crafting happy budgeting and just happiness all around bye bye